EVH has finally released a guitar without stripes on it. What's up everybody, Jake here, and today we're talking about the new EVH 5150 series guitars they just released a couple weeks ago at Summer NAMM 2019. Real quick, if this is your first time visiting my channel, do remember to hit that subscribe button to stay notified on new videos. I also want to take a second to say, if you're watching this video to hear a demo and to see one, you're watching the wrong video and you're probably just going to want to skip this video. Or complain in the comments. Either one's honestly fine with me. However, these guitars are not available yet, therefore I obviously do not have one. However, I will link down below in the description the EVH video of them announcing and some playthroughs of the guitar. So, the EVH 5150 series. This guitar is a straightforward basswood body, maple neck, two humbucker shredding guitar from EVH. However, there's one strange thing about it. It doesn't have stripes. That's kind of crazy for an EVH guitar and I wonder how that's going to work as a selling point for them because these guitars come in at a great price and in some great finishes which I'll get into in a minute here. However, I feel like if you're buying an EVH guitar, you're kind of buying it for the stripes and if you don't like the stripes, that's what the Wolfgangs are for. So this kind of seems like a weird concept to me but let's, let's talk about the finishes a little bit more on these guitars. So you have the standard 5150 series that comes in matte army, rocket red, and satin gray primer. And then you have the deluxe. With the deluxe, you get a quilt maple top and an ebony fingerboard, and that one comes in tobacco burst and blueberry burst. So both guitars have very, very similar features. However, for $100 extra, you get that quilt maple top and an ebony fingerboard. So again, the finishes look great, these guitars look great, but the only strange thing about them is they don't have stripes. Now both guitars have the standard EVH 12 to 16 inch compound radius, the EVH branded Floyd Rose 1000 top mounted trim so it doesn't pull up. They both have a low friction volume knob and a high friction tone knob. So therefore, you're just getting a straightforward shredding guitar without stripes. And the argument I think is going to come up with people is they look extremely similar to a Charvel DK24 or the old Kramer Pacers. So I feel as if people aren't a diehard EVH fan, it's not going to draw them towards these guitars. They're going to be drawn towards Charvel or Kramer who had these designs first. The guitars are going to come in at a fairly competitive price. Uh, the standards are going to retail at $8.99 and the deluxes are going to be $9.99. Both guitars as well have EVH Wolfgang humbuckers. So I want to kind of discuss why I think this is a good idea and why I think this is a bad idea. So the good thing is if you really like the 5150 design, like they did the Striped Series 5150, it's the same specs except you have an additional humbucker, no stripes, and it's cheaper. So if you really like that design and those specs, this is a great guitar. However, where I think this is going to be a problem for them is again, you can go out and get a Charvel DK24 or a Kramer Pacer and have that name on the headstock instead of EVH if you're not really an EVH fan. So I can see both sides of the equation, but we'll just kind of have to see how the public responds to these guitars. I'm pretty excited to see one. Like I said, I don't have my hands on one currently, but if you'd like to see one on the channel, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. What do you think of the EVH 5150 series guitars? Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video, and any comments, throw them down below. See you guys later.